Now, going a step further, we feel that if we can have a material that we can wrap around the patient's residue lid, insert it into the tank, pressurize it, use water to pressurize, let it harden, and once it's hardened, we take it out, and then we can use that uh, hardened material as a socket straight away. Then we have saved a lot of time uh, having to uh, 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 shape the, the positive mold. Uh, here we have uh, an instant socket, if you like. Now, just to give you a comparison, when uh, when uh, when the patient goes to the clinic to get his limb measured, and uh, by the, by the time he receives his, his limb, it takes about three weeks. Three weeks. Huh? Three weeks. Yeah, that's that's how long it takes. So we, we decided to okay go with this and develop some material that would harden, allow us some time to work on it, maybe 10 minutes or so, just to work on it. And as it harden, we can use it as a... So we, we came up with this uh, carbon fiber material that we can actually impregnate with a kind of resin that would harden. And when it hardens, the temperature that is produced is below 40 degrees, so it's quite, quite uh, comfortable for the patient. And it will take about 10 minutes to, to cure. So we have this system, and I'll show you a video clip of this. It's going to be quite fast. As you can see, we started at 12 o'clock. Huh? We apply the carbon fiber onto the stump, as you can see, and then insert it into the tank. Once it hardens, we took out the, the, the tank, the, the, this mold. And we basically fit the components onto the, onto the subject, uh, onto the socket. And the patient got his limb, and he's walking. From 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, he got his limb, instead of waiting for three weeks. Huh? Of course, uh, we had to go to lunch. We went to lunch at 1 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so you, if you minus all those lunch. So the patient actually got his limb around about two, two and a half hours. So pretty fast, huh? from the time he comes in, we, we put, we mold the material on, put it in the tank, harden, stick it out, shape it a little bit, fix up all the components, it starts working. Happy, you can see it's pretty happy. It is, uh, so we evaluated this, uh, so that we want to be sure that what we are doing is right. So we evaluated it, we uh, put the patient to, to, to some test to ensure that he works well, and the pressure, that we can measure inside the stump uh, is pretty low, doesn't cause any problem, um, and that we are quite happy with the system. And we also tested the material, make sure that it's strong enough, uh, that it doesn't give way uh, when the patient is using it. So we test it in the mechanical testing machine, make sure that it doesn't break, uh, we test the material, ensure that it is strong enough. So we basically have a system where we can uh, use directly onto the patient. Uh, so imagine, you know, if Singapore is quite small, so you can go to the clinic quite easily. Uh, you think about places like, say, uh, our neighbor Malaysia, Indonesia, sometimes going to the, to the clinic is quite far away. Uh, they live in a village, or, you know, and, then, and then having to travel to the city to get that link is quite, uh, is quite uh, an effort. And it takes three weeks to get that. So in, with this kind of technology, you can actually uh, uh, bring this technology to the, to the patient. Uh, and you can make the link straight away that it is so that you can use it. Uh, another system which I'd like to quickly introduce to you is that uh, that's, that's, that's the, the, the PCAS, direct PCAS system is a, is a very useful system where you can uh, very quickly produce an artificial in a short time. Uh, this is another way in which we can do it, and that is by using modern technology. Uh, it has its advantage, and that is if we are able to scan some kind of a laser scanner, we can scan the, the patient's stump, give us a three dimensional information of the patient's stump. We put it into a, a computer software. They can do the shaping, the designing, 
And this, desi this design will then be tested to see whether the pressure is high or, or not. And then once, once, we are com once we are comfortable with that design, we download that information into a machine that we can fabricate this socket and then we complete the whole uh, system. So here we have we have a patient who had tried this system. Uh, so he, he stick in his residue link. There's a laser scanner there. And to basically do a three-dimensional scan of the patient. And then we apply what is known as a finite element model. This is a computational model which helps us to find out where are the high pressure areas so that we can design the socket. Once we design the socket, then we give it to the patient to test it out to see whether the patient is able to walk well on this kind of system. So we, we make a comparison between the, the, uh, uh, the uh, computer model as well as that that we measured directly of the patient. And we find that the pressure that is uh, measured as well as recorded, they were quite close. They were quite close. Huh? So we were quite happy with this system. Now, in this case, uh, we actually don't need all this, uh, this cast. This, so there's a, there's a great uh, effort uh, in reducing storage for this kind of material where we can directly uh, produce the socket from this machine. As you can see, this machine is now moving to lay down the, uh, the material. So it's like a, like a toothpaste uh, that you have at home. Huh? This machine acts like a toothpaste. The material is fed into the, into the system, into the system here. And it says squeeze out like a toothpaste and as it moves around. So it gets this information from the computer design originally uh, that we had designed. And here we have, we have uh, the full socket that has been produced. Now this takes about three and a half hours to produce the socket. This is uh, also another uh, method where we have, uh, we have the ability now to have one of these scanning systems in, in, the, in the outlying villages you know, or outlying towns who may not have this, uh, this kind of system to produce the socket. But all they need is just a scanner. So you can scan the stump and then you can send it via telephone cable or internet. Send the information to a centralized fabrication uh, uh, area. Huh? And then which we're able to fabricate the socket and then send the socket back to the, the place that it was. And then of course we have tested this, uh, this system uh, okay, again to test the integrity. The patient has actually used this system to walk on it. So uh, we have a system where we can uh, uh, basically use to ensure that when we design the socket, it will fit the, the, the patient uh, comfortably and effectively. And this system actually will reduce the cost of having the patient come back. The current system of course, the current method uh, is such that the patient uh, will be required to come back again to remake the socket if it doesn't fit. Uh, if he rejects the socket, let me see if he come back again. With this kind of system, you don't have to have a patient come back again because all the information are already inside the uh, All you need to do is to reshape it and then uh, test it out again to ensure that uh, it will fit the patient. Uh, so it can improve uh, delivery of service to the, to, to, the, to the patient and also eliminate any uncertainty in fitting quality uh, using the artisan techniques we have today.